Hi everyone. Well, it is April 24, 2018. It's 10 02 03 p.m. on the East Coast, South Carolina. I don't know what the hell is going on in the last couple of nights with these, what I refer to as harp rings. They don't have to be coming out of harp in Alaska. There are many harp stations now. Nexrad. Uh, radar stations can create this in Columbia. Either it is setting off ultra low frequencies or now we have now we have these frequencies. Posted a video last night with all of these harp rings set off in Georgia, in Alabama on the border of Alabama and Tennessee. And I have to tell you, I am getting really, uh, this is life, really? You have your health affected by other people in control of this technology. This is how we have to live. And I am tired of getting uh, just experiencing limitations that I should not be experiencing. It's very maddening, to say the least. So, as I said last night, these signatures, frequency signatures, do not portend good news. Now, I'm not saying something is going to happen but it could happen. You also see the ultra low frequencies at the same time right here. Right? If you can see this, if I zoom in, oh, okay, you can still see it. So you can see the ring and you can see the ultra low frequencies. This light, very defined band they're continuously coming out of Colombia. When we have these, uh, when you can see precipitation, the reason why I was going to say storms or rain, no, because yesterday I was looking at in telecast an awful lot because I kept hearing these high pitched tones. My hearing was being muffled and I knew that it was coming from frequency. So I would go to in telecast. And I could see where I am, Anderson, right here. The whole thing was green when it wasn't raining at all. No rain. But I could see that there were uh, ultra-low frequencies being set off um, just north of Clemson, which was a new site for me, but also Spartanburg. Now, if you, you know, just take a look at, at this, you'll see plenty of signatures of frequencies in use. Um, it's, yeah, you can see the ultra-low frequencies here coming out of Binghamton. Um, and throughout. But the frequencies, you can see all of weather is being fried by frequencies. Right here, all of these defined lines. You, Mother Nature does not operate in defined lines. And Technology does. <clears throat> frequencies. You can see the ultra low frequencies right here. Canada, the United States. There has been such an increase in the use of these frequencies that are incredibly dangerous. 
They can create earthquakes. They can steer storms. Um, they can increase the temperature. They can do an awful lot of damage with these ultra low frequencies. As you can see, it, this whole thing is being fried. And you can see on the edges here, you can see we've got a like a scalar square that erupts suddenly. That's right there. No, Mother Nature does not doesn't have a ruler. She's not sitting there and taking out her ruler and creating all of these jagged edges and all of these defined lines. But <clears throat> what these frequencies are doing to our health and doing to the health of other, other species, what these frequencies are doing to life itself. Frequencies, ultra-low frequencies right here, all these jagged edges, no, that's not how Mother Nature operates. Oh, man. I I'm still getting comments from people underneath various videos that I have posted talking about the symptoms related to geoengineering or the microwave frequencies that we are saturated in and so many people are suffering. I want to show you something that I caught last night. Um, up here in Canada. Where is it? Right here. Mm, nope. Let me put you on hold. Here it is, just north of where I was. Okay. You see this, um, well, it almost looks like somebody took a uh, cookie cutter, you know, and decided that they wanted to create a round lake. But also over here, last night I caught them using microwave frequencies to lift humidity from these bodies of water in Canada. And you can actually see cloud. It's a ring of cloud and cloud over here. And you can see it dissipate 